A man who has spent a decade atop WWE with the accolades to prove it. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! A storied career, Rollins has held every singles and tag team title of note in WWE. The first ever NXT champion, the first man to hold the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins is one of the most complete competitors this industry has ever seen and is a cornerstone in WWE. You want to prove yourself? Test the visionary. apparently many faces. This is the demented power of Bray Wyatt at work. And his opponent from parts unknown, weighing in at 285 pounds, Bray Wyatt. Wyatt has always been disturbing, but I think we can all agree this is a different kind of weird. Mind games, unpredictability, these are the hallmarks of Bray Wyatt's game. He's just turning it all up to 11 right now. I'm not sure I like it. <laughs> I know I don't. Matches should be fought in the ring, man to man, not in some sort of bizarre metaphysical dreamscape. Bray Wyatt is pretty much redefining mental warfare. Yeah, there's no way anyone could ever be fully prepared for this kind of cerebral onslaught. While he can be rash and temperamental at times, the fear of the drive set Rollins in the ring is undeniable. You can't deny that he's a very passionate competitor who goes after the win with all he's got. And that volatile temper of Rollins can actually fuel him in the ring, making him an unpredictable and savage opponent to deal with. Yeah, draw Rollins' fury at your own risk because it will burn you in the end. Bray Wyatt is a different kind of beast, though. Sometimes literally demented, sadistic. Bray is a devious mastermind who can punish his opponents in every possible way imaginable. You don't face Wyatt without a piece of him lingering inside you forever. Down to Bonus and a double axe handle smash. Look at this straight. My goodness. He's got the answer for that one. Placing them into the corner. He foiled that attempt. Bray Wyatt's so explosive in the ring for a man his size. Absolutely, Cole, but the thing is, he's still a man of his size. So when you're facing off against him, you still want to speed things up because eventually you'll be able to tie him out. Boom! Knee right to the face! Oh, man. Oh, kick right to the spine. 
Springboard. Springboard Swanton! Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Oh, right to the throat. Great move. From Rollins. Oh, costly error there. just floating through the air. And Wyatt is not accustomed to this position. And you have to appreciate how he's used his speed to gain advantage in this one. Tiring out Wyatt. Wyatt was waiting for that. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. in complete control. And that was a well-executed attack. Look at this. He's heading back to the ring. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Oh, my goodness. Rollins firmly establishing the upper hand. Seth's doing whatever he wants because he can. Set design. Quick thinking pays off. Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Up high. Able to sidestep it. He's able to fend off the attack. Wyatt steers clear of that. Ray Wyatt is really showing his confidence. Drawing dangerous. Whoa. Oh, no. Crashing hard onto the floor. I don't care how bold you are. Missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Bray can't mount any offense. But Wyatt can't allow this burst to hinder him. Dodges out of the way. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Sister Abigail delivered by Bray Wyatt. This match is getting pushed beyond the normal limits. Punch right in the head. Piercing the throat. Fends off the attack with an elbow. These two having an answer for everything. Whoa, right into a chop block. Debilitating counter. Launching. Five star frog splash. The visionary put every ounce of passion into that move. It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a hazardous amount of punishment has been dealt. High risk here. I don't know what more we could see in this match from the top. High risk. Corner. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. A stalemate of counters. Bad predicament right here. Ooh, right to the floor. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Versatility from Rollins.
attacking his opponent in the corner. What's next? Stop! Stop! Is it enough to overcome Bray? These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Seth Rollins comes up big and gets the win. Congrats to Seth Freakin' Rollins. Job well done. I don't think there was ever a doubt in Seth's mind that this would be the outcome. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing Damage Control from Auckland, New Zealand, Takunda Kai! You can see exactly why the arena is full here tonight. This is a match with major stakes. She certainly knows how to get a reaction, and she'll get an even bigger one when she wins this match. She has gone from fabulous to untouchable. She calls herself the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella! Well, she calls herself the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And Byron, I ask you, as they say on the internet, where's the lie? She has won the SmackDown Women's Championship, Money in the Bank, the WrestleMania Battle Royal, Mixed Match Challenge, the Women's Tag Team Championship. Shall I go on? Okay, okay, I have to admit, she truly is untouchable. There's the bell, and this one's official. Dakota Kai is in the building, and she's ready to take her opponent out. It's no secret that Dakota Kai is a cold-blooded assassin. Dakota studies every move her opponent makes and then strikes. Dakota Kai never hesitates to call her shot, and once she detects a weakness, she's merciless in exploiting it. She better be at her best, because fighting out of the other corner is the stunning vision of perfection. You can't ever discount the talent and brilliance of my Mella. I thought you'd say something like that, Corey. We know Carmella is aggressive and has ability, but if she's concentrating on dancing around and trash talk, this could be an early night for her. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. And Kai showcasing that attitude that's made her such a threat. Carmella fighting back. 
Ripping and tearing at the face. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent. Ah, oh, the body's not meant to be stretched that way. Right across the knee, heel oh. hook locked in. This is painful. Corey, I'm not telling you anything you don't know by saying that Carmella has a tendency to run her mouth. Do you think that could possibly be a detriment here? Now, Cole, I would never suggest that. Can she keep her down? And she's not done yet. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. Perhaps Dakota Kai's confidence got a bit shaken there. And Carmella proving to have a pretty solid game plan here. Unbelievable athleticism. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. Carmella gets waylaid. Oh, my goodness. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Series of boots. Carmella saw that coming. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. Good grief. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Mella just can't seem to stop this offense. And it looks like she found that opening against Carmella. Now, can she capitalize even further? And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Oh, man. Kick to the face. That was disrespectful. My gosh. Oh. She has her target weighed and measured. after another. These two are reading each other's minds. Big time Larry. Starting to fire up. Where is a superstar getting this from? This is incredible. Just disrespectful. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. Ooh, she just turned it around. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. Ali, incredible axe kick. Blatant disrespect. Uh oh, no, don't do this, don't do this. Ah, stop to the belly. Systematic attack on that arm. Pow, what a shot. Set up in the corner of the ring. Ooh Relentless attack from Dakota here. Carmella's got to slow down this assault. Dakota is in the zone and letting the opposition know it. Boom! It's okay, they weren't that pretty anyway. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Dakota Kai from the top. Oh, she misses the mark. Finds a counter. Flying. Axe handle from the middle rope. Nobody home for that one. Dakota interrupts the attack. Dakota Kai. Crucifix chokehold. Wow. Oh, look at this. Is she going to tap? Got it. Dakota Kai able to get the win. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. Here is your winner. finding herself on the wrong side of things with this loss. In the end, Dakota was one step ahead, and it helped her shut the door tonight. Within the confines of battle, few are as calculated and as dangerous as Dakota Kai.
Guys, here comes the hot mess. Uh, emphasis on mess. Bite your tongue, Saxton. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Chelsea Green. You know, I'm not an advocate for asking to speak to the manager, but I have to admit, it has worked well for Chelsea Green. Are you kidding me, Saxton? Championship gold, competing at WrestleMania, those are things that Chelsea earned. That she even had to politely ask for those opportunities is due to poor work of a substandard general manager. Maybe after Chelsea gets the win tonight, the general manager will finally recognize her talents. Here comes a real menace in the women's division, J.C. Jane. And from Tampa, Florida, J.C. Jane. Jane is a multiple time NXT Women's Tag Champion, co-holder of the longest reign in that title's history. And we are only seeing the start of J.C. Jane's dominance. Jane brings a certain fire to the ring every time she competes. And she has attitude to spare, ready to make her next big statement tonight. And J.C. Jane has really made a career out of systematically dissecting her opponents, figuring out their weaknesses, finding out their darkest secrets, and using them to her advantage. Jane doesn't care about boundaries, doesn't care about feelings. She just cares about winning. But Chelsea Green, for all her personal flaws, isn't someone to overlook in the ring. Personal flaws, Saxton. I hope she heard that and reports you to the manager later for bias, as the WWE Universe is about to the cover shoulders down. She was close to the end there. Somehow, some way. Ooh. Arm is grapevine. Trying to step through. Oh. Here it comes. Tequila Sunrise. What's going to happen here? A oh, really target back on the knee. And she's able to roll back on her spine and get out of it. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Gentlemen, you know I love it when J.C. Jane runs her mouth, but tonight, I think she's really going to need focus. A taunt in moderation is fine, but don't go overboard. Save more. She can do it here. Kick out at one. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. That dodge can buy Chelsea time. Oh, God. And that can rattle Chelsea Green's foundation. What are we going to see from J.C.? From the top! Oh, she lands hard. Big double axe handle. So much damage inflicted. What a counter by Chelsea. Back. Super kick! Through the forearm connects. Super kick! Nice Japanese arm drag. And JC is taking out a lot of offense now. Yeah, JC's being completely neutralized. Wrist lock. Climbing the ropes. Damn. Into the arm. Cover, cover. Kick out. 
If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Well, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. Stop after stop. Relentless. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Arm ringer applied into the top wrist lock. Full control now. Oof. But here comes the fire. Wow, what a cold climb. It's still going. Still executing. Three in a row now. Their opponent's doubling into the corner. And a bulldog to follow it up. Look at her stumble back up. Probably seeing double vision. Oh, setting them up. Canadian Destroyer. Green cannot and will not be stopped. Locking up the arms from behind. There's the eye prettier by Chelsea Green. Did Chelsea get enough of it? Cover. And a rope saver there. Insult to injury with that stolen move. Makes the cover. No, she kicks out. That is just pure instinct at this point. Kick to the body. Mistake made by Jane. Chelsea had that well scouted. Oh, straight forward. Super kick. Good night. Chuck block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Counters that. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oh, just making their opponent suffer with their boot. Oh, absolutely punishing. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Oh, boy, to the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah, gonna clean it off here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. <laughs> Fought off with an elbow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> strong Irish whip. Out of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. And back in the ring we go. Going up top. To the sky. Strong impact. Not exactly what she'd planned to have happen to her during this match, but she knows what kind of fight she's in now. That is, if she can remember where she is. She should have had a plan for this, Corey. This has gotten way out of hand. Kick to the midsection. Hoisted up into a powerbomb position, but steady punches provide an escape plan. Now Jane looking for some momentum. Jane was being tested and was finally a bit some offense of her own end. Into the cover! Oh. No! A two count! Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Chelsea's out of it, completely in peril. And Chelsea Jane gets all of the discus big boot. Green is completely out of it. Kick out, thought that was the end of her. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on 
pure instinct and adrenaline right now. That was a great opportunity to put this one away, but it slipped right through her fingers. She's got her where she wants her. From the top, able to interrupt the attack. Chelsea Green looking to remind everyone there's a lot prettier by Chelsea Green. Wow, Chelsea got her. Two count and a kick out. Her perseverance is unreal, preserving her opportunity to keep this match alive. I don't know if there's more frustration or desperation in the ring now, knowing that you've tried to end this and failed. Savage knee to the face. Chelsea now. That green is proving hard to keep up with. <laughs> oh, quite an effective counter. Super kick! Super kick! Chelsea Green looking to remind everyone there's an eye prettier by Chelsea Green. Going to the well again. Will it produce dividends? Two. She wins! She wins! Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. Here is your winner, Chelsea Green! And JC Jane goes down with the loss tonight. No complaints here. Chelsea Green delivering big time. You know, Carter and Chance were a team long before NXT even had a women's tag team division. And it's paid off because this team is the team to beat in all of WWE. If looks could kill. I don't think I even need to finish my sentence, gentlemen. And their opponents, first from Sin City, Scarlet! Don't judge a book by its cover. Scarlet is second fiddle to no one, and she is just as dangerous in the ring as she is out of it.
Wicked, dangerous intentions on the mind of Scarlet. Enemies of Blair, beware. And yeah, she says she's cold, collected, and coming to dominate WWE. And from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. This woman is the textbook definition of ruthless. You gotta love Blair Davenport. Talks a big game about her wickedness, ferociousness, and willingness to do whatever it takes. You're right, and she backs up everything she says as soon as the bell rings. Yeah, a woman with a dark side, but a very bright future. When it comes to two talents, you don't want to underestimate Caden Carter and Katana Chance have to be pretty high on that list within the women's division. According to Carter and Chance, there's no greater freedom than being underestimated. Because when you bring the party and have as much fun as they do, it's easy for opponents to assume they don't have the talent to back it up in the ring. But believe me, folks, they do. We're in for a treat tonight. They are a well-oiled machine that can run a seminar in tag team wrestling. They certainly pose a real threat to their competition who might have a difficult time matching their chemistry. Oh! Double super kick! Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Oh, a spike DDT! Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Ooh. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And now there's an opening. Scarlet's toughness being put to the test. That spirit of chance is proving hard to contain. Kick right to the midsection. Drop kick hits the mark. Boom! Box striking with a knee. Quickly the cover. Surprisingly quick kick out. Clearly, she's still got a lot of fight left in her. Boom! Oh, impact! Both knees into the face! Reversal! Can she capitalize? Oh, man! Nasty kick. Oh, what a kick. Oh, man, what a kick. Left by the turnbuckles. Chicken wing applied with the half Nelson. Face buster. A little cockiness here from Scarlett. Oh, she has bad intentions Whoa. now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Absolutely 
throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face, taking flight. Senton from the apron. Taking this match off the mat now. Look at it. Oh, straight to the floor. This can't be good. They just missed wildly. Took the high risk, but unfortunately, no reward. Thanks for the barricade. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Controlling the arm into a hammerlock flatliner. Hoist their opponent up for a fireman's carry. Into a leg drop. Nice. Scarlett's eyes look glazed over. Rough. And Caden Carter is going full tilt here. Blair needs to find. Muscling up their opponent. Uh oh. She turns it around on Carter. Scarlett isn't taking this lying down anymore. Could be the table turner Scarlett desperately needed. Counter from Carter. Trap the arm. Harsh forearm draped across the middle rope. And down! Oof. Blair can't seem to get out of harm's way. Carter isn't holding anything back. An elbow will break that up. So oh, man! In off the tag. Katana Chance looking to hype herself up here. Just hot shot it to the outside. That offense taking a toll on her. No! Cross body to the floor. Toss caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. And she makes it to her partner. Tag. Well executed suplex. She breaks the ref's count. Amazing effort by her. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. She had it scouted. Rocket hits the mark. Reversal on chance. These two trade encounters an absolute master class. Oh, did you see that? Oh, right to the leg. Oh, weakening the leg here. This match is wearing her down. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? And Chance now chaining some offense together. Blair needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. All measured up. <laughs> a drop kick to the back. Oh, man, a callous attack to the knee. Katana just looking to humiliate her opponent. Able to get there in time. Amazing face breaker by Chance. Chance can seal it here. Champ found a way to survive tonight. Simply put, wait a second. Wait just a minute. 
The Apparently. champ celebration cut short. No rest for the weary gentlemen. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Finn Balor, representing the Judgment Day. From New York City, weighing in at 249 pounds, he is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Senor Money in the Bank, Damian Priest. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. And they create chaos. And Judgment Day thrives in chaos. Oh, this is my favorite part. He's going to sing. Y'all know what time it is. This is the part where we crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now here we go. People over there, what's up? You feel me? Stand up and say what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? You can get with this or you can get with that. You better get with this. Cause this is where it's at. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? See, I be skipping and jumping, leaving the competition. I make them disappear like your favorite magician. And I ride it till the wheel fall off. I bounce back to back till their necks get soft. Most of the time you see me, I'm being simple. Then many times I be busting them up like a pimple. Stating my claim to fame. To be one of the baddest young brothers step foot in this game. And I haven't even started yet. You can better believe I take it off the show I bet. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Judgment, thy name is Damian Priest. We already know what this man has in mind, so let's get straight to the punishment. Damian Priest, really as impressive as they come here in WWE. The big man always looking to assert his dominance to make a definitive statement as a competitor. Tonight should be no different. And I guess the circus is in town because our truth is his opponent for the night. Oh, come on, Corey. You don't want to know what's up. I love watching our truth He's been in this business 20 years, and his enthusiasm and attitude have never dipped once. He's doing his thing, having a great time. You're just upset because he's in better shape than you. Well, actually, me too, for that matter. And Damian Priest is the proverbial five-tool player. Is there a specific skill set that should bring him the win tonight? Not really. Priest is so good, he can determine which strategy is best on the fly. All he needs to do is stay patient and determine which of his physical advantages is best when the time is right. I'll tell you what's up now. R-Tooth is having some tough hits thrown his way. Broken arrow. He can end it here. Stop by rope break. Boom. As the wrist trapped. And now a series of stomps and kicks. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. And set right into the corner. Running hip attack. What impact. So precise with the super kick. 
dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Priest able to adapt. The crowd is fired up. Priest is fired up. starting to build. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. And he sends him into the corner. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at this, going counter for counter. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Turns that back on Truth. Powering their opponent up. Wow. Tombstone slam. Priest just unleashing his trademark style of punishment. We're about to take a trip south of heaven. Priest was right on target. Cover. Two count. He stays alive, he stays alive. Had to dig deep to break that pin. But can it be done again? How much is left after that? That was close, but Damian Priest doesn't look like he's letting that distract him from the task at hand. Boom! Off the ropes. Down below, ouch! Great display of power in the Tetlip German suplex. No From the top, oh my, apron sent on. Sent straight into the barricade. Oh, the reversal by R-Truth. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Into the barricade. Somehow, Truth has to turn the tide. Referee's count only getting higher. Come on, got to get back in the ring. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. And he gets set back into the ring. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice up high. To the outside. This could get wild. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? And he's going with the great equalizer here. The steel chip. Makes some space and gets out of dodge. Momentum has completely shifted to Priest. And this is the danger of a fully focused Damian Priest. And his eyes are piercing through. Position now. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. He moves, but can he? Damian Priest. Rip locked in. South of heaven. Is that enough to take out true two? I'm not quite sure what. What? Whoa, whoa, Why did they get... No, no, no. So, somebody stop this. Now the referee's been chased out of the oh, ring, and this on. is going to get ugly. Real oh, ugly. Oh, look who's here. This is absolute chaos.
The following contest is a gauntlet match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two superstars will start in the ring. When one superstar is eliminated, a new superstar enters. Eliminations can occur by pinfall, submission, or disqualification. The match continues until one superstar remains, and that superstar will be declared the winner! The Bruiser of the Brawling Brutes. And representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Butch! Whatever happened to the soft-spoken, calm competitor? Oh, Cole, those days are done. D-U-N-N-E, done. Yeah, now he's more like a rabid animal. We'll finally see a method to his in-ring madness, only seen once the bell rings. A Lucha Libre megastar now looking to dominate WWE. I'd say there's a very good chance he'll do that. And representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. It is time to pay respect to the boss of the street. Santos Escobar does not play games. Escobar is calm, steady, calculated, and does whatever he has to do to succeed. Santos Escobar continues to build his empire, and he'll do anything to keep it intact. Escobar is determined to provide and protect his family. Beware, he's full of surprises. We're underway in this gauntlet match promises to be a lengthy and hard-fought battle. Big number of competitors taking part in what's sure to be a war of a trip. Driving through with the clothesline, sends his opponent all the way to the outside, and I believe the wheels are turning for more. How about a suicide dive? Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. This is just brute power. My goodness, absolute dominance. Ooh, well measured. Trying to debilitate the capability to stand. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. All the way up. Oh, no. Good night. The Dude Buster. You hit a move like that, you're not just trying to win. You're trying to keep your opponent down indefinitely. This could be a tipping point in this match. Punch right in the head. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Draped over the top rope. 
What's the best way for a superstar to approach a gauntlet match, Corey? Conditioning is key when you're going into a gauntlet. If you get exhausted early, you have no hope of making it to the end. Butch hyping up the crowd. No way. Oh. Suicide dive. Like a heat seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. He switches it back around. Can he do it here? And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Oh, man. Up and sit out powerbomb. Oh, man, he has fired up now. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. No respect at all with that action. Escobar. Which won't come back after that. Two. Kicks out. Just kicked out. He's in total disbelief. That did not finish the job. Everyone watching this is in total disbelief right now. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there, but to no avail. to continue his assault and joint manipulation. Arm trapped in a hammerlock submission. Oh, no, this is going to be hard to watch. Ah, oh, agonizing. A menacing look from Butch. Uh oh jump Nothing to do with any of that. Uh oh! Oh no! Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Whoa! Uh oh, monkey flip! <laughs> I love it. Oh man! He was elusive there. <laughs> Delivers the leg drop. <gasps> oh, man. Thrown back in under the ropes. Looking for a little bit of high risk here, it seems. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. From the top rope, missile drop kick on point. Does he have him here? Shoulder up, shoulder up. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Escobar on the receiver. Oh, the 
This has become a monumental clash. There are no breaks on these competitors. The will, the fire, the guts. You can feel their emotion. Oh, ducked underneath. Instead, what a German suplex. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. And Santos adds to the damage he's already handed out. Butch might be dangerously close to being put away. How in the world do these superstars have anything left at this point? The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this moment. Down. Like being manhandled by a bear. Is it enough? The cover! The government claims the victim. Which is done. But you look at our entry pool and it starts to sink in just how much action is left to go. And here comes Randy Orton bringing everything he's got to this gauntlet match. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. This press! Rapid fire right hands. Every strike more devastating than the last. Oh, ouch! Great reaction from Santos. to apply an agonizing armbar stretch. Punishing stretch. And that damage to the shoulder could be an ongoing factor now. It might limit range of motion in the entire arm. Gets him with the counter. Oh, God. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. We are European uppercut. Down the phone and a double axe handle smash. Able to elude it. Oh, look at a scoop slam. Oh, face stop. Oh, my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Hoist it up. Nice suplex. Escobar. That's it. Santos just ended things. Two. He manages to kick out. What strength. There is no quit inside the heart of Randy Orton. Will that be the last from the top rope? Missile drop kick on point. <laughs> Boom, did you hear the impact? <laughs> How's that for a counter? Santos was ready there. Not so fast. Her shoulders down. And a strong kick out in one. This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. Oh. Leg sweep. Nicely done. And Santos is showcasing his unique Lucha Libre arsenal. Santos is showing no mercy out here. The Viper with further plans in mind. Patent offense with the... And that was an expertly executed DDT. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God. He's going for the pen. This could be it. No, stops the count at two. 
somehow, some way, he is still in this. It is beyond electric in here. This energy is on another level. Into the corner now. Knees across the sh Escobar with a connecting with the Phantom Driver. I think that finally closes the book. Near fall. That was amazing. Orton is still in this. The Viper still has a lot of fight left in him. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished sky high. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Oh, reversal catches Santos. Escobar couldn't avoid the big shot. There's two! And that's it for Santos Escobar. That's a pity, but there are still five more entrants to come in this match. This ain't over by any stretch of the imagination. Out comes Sheamus, ready for this gauntlet match. Can't quite get him there. The WWE Universe is absolutely on fire right now. I can barely... Hooked up. DDT. Pattern instincts from Sheamus. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Down to Bowman. And a double axe handle smash. And he's able to reverse. Instead, what a German suplex. Was mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut too. Oh my gosh! The Celtic Warrior in bad shape here. Look, Sheamus loves a fight, but he can't be liking this. <laughs> Stopped in their tracks with a knee to the gut. Uh-oh. Reigns down an elbow retaliation. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of counters. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Sheamus making an emphatic statement. Pin! That marks the end of the night for Randy Orton in this gauntlet. This one is far from over with four more combatants still to come. Coming our way in the gauntlet now is Rey Mysterio. into the wheelbarrow, up and up, boom, DDT. And he had raised number there, and that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Oh, man. Close the ball, back of the net. And Ray had it scouted. The springboard attack fails to land. Vicious right forward. In doubt, try to knock your opponent's block off. Shaman with a big shot there. Ooh, that was brutal. He's turning the tables. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop, too. Oh, a strong knee connects. Knee straight to the gut, stays off the attack. Right on the patella. 
Making it that much harder to stand, that much harder to fight back. A continued assault from Sheamus. Fantastic offense from Sheamus. He got whipped into that corner. Close line in the corner. Short close line hits its mark. on their opponent. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Just a barrage of elbow drops into the chest. Elbow finds its mark. Rey Mysterio's in some serious trouble. Mysterio's fairy tale looking dark, gentlemen. Mysterio with a DDT. Off into the pin. Two, kick out just in time. He really thought that was it. Able to get out of the way. Caught with that sharp elbow. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Not gonna be good. White noise. Cover. Kicks out. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Bro, kick. Man, that can keep Ray down. Shoulders down. Oh, shoulder up and for a three. Incredible. The big heart of Ray Mysterio shining through in the clutch. I can see it on his face. Sheamus is ready to reload and get back on the attack after that kick out. Sent into the corner. Satellite DDT. And misses on the springboard. Oh, nice. Schoolboy from behind. Getting that shoulder up now. It's James with a brutal. That should do it right there. Makes the cover. Oh, Ray Mysterio has been eliminated. He's out of this gauntlet match. Out they go, but we still have three more superstars chomping at the bit to win this gauntlet match. Here's Jimmy entering the fray in this gauntlet match. to hold him down. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Into a dragon screw leg whip. Oh, oh, oh. Stiff headbutt. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Clawing the face, is this necessary? Ripping at the eyes. I see how it is, going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Reversal, what a counter! Popped up! Jimmy Uso with a Samoan drop. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Bicycle knee strike, ouch! Big boy. Kick out. Close call, but not enough yet. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. There he goes, right into the corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Stomach to reverse that maneuver. Oh. 
Taking out the arm, great strategy. Insulting. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Whip back into the ring. Jimmy tied that one. Bottom of the bicycle knee strike. Oh, on the jump. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. Knee strike. Big knee. And right between the shoulder blades. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. From the Celtic Warrior. Impressive move from Sheamus, guys. He must have had that scouted. He catches Jimmy with a counter. Jimmy saw it coming. Jimmy able to take a stand there. But Jimmy has to push now while the window's open. Uh-oh. Slips out of the way. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Hey, fella, you're ready to... Uh-oh. He turns it around. He's trying to bring the fight back in this one. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Crushing knee strike. Demoralizing spot for Jimmy Uso. This is Uso's perseverance getting tested. Up and around. Down with a tilt the world back. Breaker. Nice takedown, stacked for the pin. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. Almost inhuman at this point. Vicious right for him. Oh, knee lift. Elbow puts an end to that. Jimmy managing to get some control back now. The angry Uso looking for the upper hand. Celtic Warrior. What noise? This is over. He may get the three count right here. This is it. So long to Jimmy Uso. He couldn't finish the gauntlet tonight. And after this, two more entrants to go. Watch out. Here comes Gunther. And this gauntlet just got very interesting. Chest. Clawing the face. Is this necessary? Ripping at the eyes. I oh, able to counter. Oh! Can Gunther recover from that? Oh, kick. That's got to end it this time around. Makes a cover. Hey, no way. No way. What an amazing level of fight. Still left. And Gunther. And one thing we know is that Sheamus loves to fight, but you have to wonder how comfortable he's feeling right now. And Gunther got turned around there. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. 
Looking for a suplex. Let's get suplexed instead. Gunther has that determined look on his face. Fist directly to the gut. Nice takedown. No way. looking for safety outside the ring. There's nothing wrong with this. This is a good opportunity to recalibrate. stretch of this gauntlet match. And here he comes, oh, we'll win Bobby Lashley match. entering the gauntlet. Sheamus denies the attack. Sheamus able to take a stand there. Yeah, Sheamus able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but will he also gain control? Sheamus is taking complete command. Just look at Sheamus go. Remarkable power being shown here. Foot right to the belly. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Shifts it back onto him. Devastating kick. Closing in. Blistering shoulder block. I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up power bomb. Hammering down on the knee. Here is your winner, the Count 
Celtic warrior, Sheamus. After what seemed like an eternity, this gauntlet match has ended. Yeah, with an elimination match, your number can be up at any moment. But they've managed to outmaneuver all the other competitors here tonight. A chorus has broken out for Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, oh, Stop it. Stop oh, it. You almost oh, shut up the entire oh, arena just now. I was having fun, guys. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. The world. A decade of being WWE's freaking workhorse, and the WWE Universe is finally singing his praises. I know it's much easier said than done, but this superstar cannot let The Rock get in his head. Now is the time to focus on the task at hand. Ladies and gentlemen, the People's Champion is here. I can barely hear you, Saxton. The WWE Universe has come unglued. Oh, you know why, Corey? It's all due to the power of the Brahma Bull. And his opponent from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the He's headlined WrestleManias, a double-digit world champion, and perhaps the greatest name in all of not only sports entertainment, but entertainment. Listen to these people. Well, guys, there's only one question left. Do you smell? What the rock? Saxton, know your role and never say that again. The rock soaking up the adulation of the people one last time before the bell rings. Now we know that The Rock has no problem running his mouth about his opponents in the lead-up to his matches, but we can't forget that if there's any superstar who knows how to hold his own when that bell rings, it's The Rock. Without a doubt, Cole, people sometimes get so caught up in The Rock's way with words that they forget just how athletic and smart this man is in the ring, and that's how he gets you. He definitely knows how to keep his opponents focused on the wrong aspect of his rather stellar game when the bell rings. And his opponent is Seth Rollins, who really has gone through a whole lot of changes in the last few years. You forgot the freaking, you fool. And that other word you're looking for is adapt. Rollins has transformed himself to meet every new challenge he faces. He's constantly innovating. And he goes for the pin. And the rock kicks out. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. No, no, no! High risk, cross body! That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Snake eyes! That's it, turn out the lights, the party's over. Seth Rollins taking charge in a big way. Yes, on the apron. Oh, what a close line. Those 
successfully delivered. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Gesture. Oh, maybe time to start burning it down. Rollins is starting to roll. And the rock feeling the effects of this match continuing on like this. Typically crafty offense from Rollins as this match goes on. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? Still in it. The Rock with a great counter. Take down, awards them off. From Rollins, and Rollins flies, knee strike connects. It's demoralizing to see The Rock in trouble here. The Rock has to devise a new plan here. What was coming there? Elbow on the spot. Double leg takedown on their opponent. Trying to step through. And the sharpshooter is a pluck. He's trying to push himself up, and that'll cause a break. Boom. It's offensive arsenal. Rollins is set to slay. Vicious, aggressive attacks. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Just ruthless. Now that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Oh, maybe time to start burning it down. Rollins is starting to roll. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Blast off! Five star frog splat! Rollins with a freaking devastating maneuver. Seth Rollins stopped. That was brutal, and, and now the blood is flowing from the Rock's face. No, my, that was close. Getting his shoulder up there seemed like musk. Uh oh, let's go. No stop. Trying to stop. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Suplex! Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. I'm starting to wonder if these superstars even have breaking points. Now, we're well beyond that now, Saxton. We're so far out in the deep waters, it might as well be the abyss. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Just like that, Rollins dodges. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Now ah, trampling the opposition. Oh, God. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, Rock's not going to let up either. He came here to have a fight and put boots to asses. Uh-oh. German suplex released. Evading offense. The referee counted, urging them to get in the ring. Ooh, 
stiff punch. Oh, right in there. And another going head to head, putting each other to the test. What a counter by Rollins. Super kick finds the mark. Oh, Seth Rollins. Pedigree! Rollins lining it up. Here comes the stop. Okay, instead. And he fights it off. Good Lord, scarily close to three. Outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Oh, great. Rearranging our ringside furniture here. Will the announce that? There it is! Oh. Is there any fight left in Rollins? Like there's another challenger on the horizon, but the champ letting him know for now, I'm the one on top. 